Hey everybody, CBQ here, back with another edition of How It Works, and today we're going to go over the operator control panel, or the interface on how you go from manual to autonomous mowing. Now we've done a previous video on this, if you've checked that out, everything's new, so don't worry about it, we're going to go over it. Let's go take a look. All right. Looking at the top of this mower, for those of you who've used a right standard ZK, you know it's a super productive machine and all the standard components controls are here. You've got your ignition to start the mower, do it all the way to start the engine. You've got your PTO for blades and gauge, very standard. You've got your choke for helping uh, crank the machine and your throttle for going faster, slower with engine speed. And you've got your uh, machine hours here. Now the fun stuff is in this little control panel here, which enables the Greensy Autonomous Mowing software to kick in. And it all works off this switch. Now when this switch is in manual mode, as you can see, the mower still works like manual. It's a super productive machine. If for some reason our software isn't working, it usually works pretty good. But if it is, you can still use this mower, you can move it, you can mow, you can do everything you can. That's a number one feature requested by our customers. When you're ready to go to autonomous mowing, it's very easy. The system will tell you when it's ready, and most of the time it takes about 60 seconds. So by the time you get it off the truck and out into the field, it's ready to go. You press this button, map. When you press this button, this is a standard uh, latching button here. It's got a nice feel to it, waterproof, IP66, I believe. You can pressure wash. I wouldn't pressure wash up here, but you can if you need to. These things do get dirty. This sends a command signal to our software through a microcontroller, which means it's lightning fast, and then a serial connection is read to send the map command. Our system then begins reading all the sensors to record where it is. For more on that, check our other video on how the robot knows where it is and draws the map. Once the, that button is pressed, the map uh, is blinking and it is drawing a map. So you mow the boundary of the area you want using these, uh, and you mow around. Once you get back to the start, it's gonna blink on the plan to say it has a plan, and then it's gonna go solid. The mower is ready to mow. There is only one thing you need to do, and that is switch the mower over to autonomous to allow for autonomous control. And then you take the remote and you press the mow button once you are safely 10 feet away. The mower will localize, take off, and begin mowing in between the area that you set. Again, for more on that, check our other videos. Now back over to the control panel. This button is called e-stop, and it is an industry standard and required in industrial automated machines. It's a latching button, which means that it latches. To undo it, you simply twist. Now this is a local e-stop. We tell dealers when they're working on the machine to always keep this down so that the mower won't start when they don't want it to. Now again, this button only works when you're in manual mode, so don't worry about it, it accidentally pressing it. This is for safety only, so back in autonomous mode. There is a, another e-stop uh, right here that is the same latching. If you want more on this, I have a, a, another video on a remote control that you can check out uh, uh, for more details on how this works. There is one more button and that is cancel. Cancel works the same way. If you press cancel, it'll take it out of the current operation. It'll go back from either mowing. Uh, hopefully you're not be able to do that when the mow you're around the mower. It will not allow you to, it'll stop. So you can actually cancel the current operation. You can cancel the current map and redo it, but you can also just press map to redo the map as well. So may have some uh, initial use for this as of yet. Uh, now there is also cancel here, which is actually more useful because you can pause the mower and then you can go back into mowing um, uh, autonomously. Now all of these buttons uh, and all of this are, are again built by uh, a company that has built these outdoor ready. You can see it's a metal. Hopefully it'll uh, stand up to the test of time and it's been doing pretty well for us out in there. There is one more thing here, the autonomous hours. If you can check that out and go from the top, you can't see it, but it's got some hours and that's what we're doing is keeping this number up. This interface has been really good. In future videos, we're gonna go over the web interface that is here. If you try and go to that now, you're gonna get a secure pin, so you won't be able to get access to this mower. Sorry, everybody, security. But uh, we'll go over more of that in a future video. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for tuning in. If you wanna know more about how our system works, the operator control panel, the remote, the obstacle detection, please let us know in the comments what you'd love to see. Thanks, everybody.